This thing is a rocket! Alright guys, let's do our usual uphill steep technical test. First, second gear. Oh, this is nice. First gear. Lots of torque. Second gear. It's so nice and crisp. I can just I can just lug it in second gear. No problem here. Loose racks uphill, second gear. Oh, this was so good. Second gear still. The bottom is so good here. Okay, let's stay in the second, in the hardest section. Okay hey guys, officially this thing is this thing is good. Hey, what's up guys? Rado here. We are here together with uh, Mark Tilly from Dirtbag Magazine and we wanted to give you a first impression on the on the ride on this bike. Mark uh, will talk from this uh, pro rider point of view and I will give you my honest opinion from uh, Weekend Warrior. So Mark, you had this bike for a uh, for a little while here yeah, we had it for a long time <laughs> <laughs> we had it for a really long time and uh it's kind of one of those things that happens all the time mm. or every once in a while with us it's it's stuff kind of gets in the way and right. we especially now new bike intros and all kinds of stuff happening again so yeah, yeah i apologize i know that you've wanted to uh <laughs> you've wanted to, to get it's it not back. my it's not my fault <laughs> yeah you wanted to get it back and, and ride it and you know some of your uh youtube watchers definitely want to want to see videos with yeah. it and stuff like that yeah, but then I know you you're busy with all the 2022. So uh, you guys are doing a bunch of uh, cool stuff uh, on, on your part. I saw all the the reviews you do and uh, flying places and meeting people. That that's really great. So I want to ask you, uh, you are on these 2022 bikes uh, so many times. Like, uh, how different is this bike? Uh, can you tell me your impression of riding this uh, 10 years old two-stroke? How it compares to uh, to these brand new bikes and. Uh, who this bike would be good for? What do you think? I mean, for the for the average person, this bike is great. This one a little extreme. I yeah. mean, you we're 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 kind of showing the other extreme of it. Mm -hmm. But like this motorcycle, people don't have to spend all the money that we're spending on these to right. to build them up and to do all kinds of stuff. This bike for 
most of the general public mm -hmm. would be a great motorcycle for even the fast guys for, for myself i particularly care and and care for these bikes more than i do the brand new fuel injected bikes okay now doing a build like this mm -hmm. it does let you see how far technology has come like right. you know this bike some of the stuff that we we had issues with like the starter working intermittently you know little stuff going on on with with that kind of stuff suspension you know little stuff with like that but you know that's stuff that a 2012 mm -hmm. when they were brand new we had issues with so yeah. you know it's not anything brand new mm -hmm. so um but i mean to to have all of the companies nowadays building products for these motorcycles mm -hmm. It's awesome. Like we were talking about before, having bikes back in the 90s, two strokes of the 90s. There's more stuff available for them aftermarket now mm -hmm. than when they rolled off the assembly line. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Like it's definitely, me personally, I like a carbureted two stroke. Mm -hmm. It just adds to what you're doing. Right. Like it, it's a fun factor. Mm -hmm. I race professionally on two strokes and mm -hmm. carbureted two strokes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm a little bit partial to them. Uh -huh. um, the new fuel injecting craze and everything on two strokes, eh, I, I could do without yeah, them, yeah, yeah. but they are a lot more efficient. They're, you know, they're supposedly better for the environment, all that kind of stuff. I, I realize why we have to have them right now. Four stroke wise. Mm -hmm. I love a fuel injected four stroke. They yeah. are way better than a carbureted four stroke. So it's, it's hard to see people on the, on the carbureted four strokes these days. Oh yeah. No. Everything and and, and, and even with those, it's, it's something that it's great because people make products for mm -hmm. those, but a two stroke, give me a carburetor, yeah. give me, give me a loud pipe. I'm, I'm happy to, to go have fun on that, you know? Yeah. And, and, but comparing this to a brand new motorcycle, yeah, they're really not that far off. There is some creature mm -hmm. comforts on the new motorcycles, but they're not that far off. I mean, there's there's been major advancements in them, mm -hmm. but like I said, the average guy, you can go buy a 2012 and be competitive with your buddy on the trails or even if you're trying to race them. Yeah. Not they're they're definitely raceable, but you know, I mean for this one like like I said, it's got coatings on it and it's got all kinds of stuff. You guys did a great job building it. Thank so, you. So, I mean, and it's definitely one of those things to where the industry needs people like you to mm -hmm. build these motorcycles and to show people. I mean, cool. yeah, we get to build motorcycles yeah. and we get to do that kind of stuff. And, you know, we have our YouTube channel and we have all that kind of stuff, but we have to test brand new bikes and, and do that kind of stuff as well. So the industry needs these kind of motorcycles built right. and that's the great I'm, thing about i'm it. happy to chip in just to, yeah, to let no, you know we you know, appreciate like, <laughs> it we definitely appreciate it <laughs> i'm happy to do that and you know it's uh, it just gives me a lot of pleasure to do these things like once i see the final product even even like when you as you build it once you see like the the frame different color and you put things together and you see the engine and all the coatings and all that man it's uh it's a really something it's labor of love so yeah, well, definitely it, that it comes back to even you know getting when we were first talking about this and you're like I really want to build this Slovakian edition, and mm -hmm. I saw I saw the um, the six days that they had back in the day, and you know, right. But that's cool because that's your journey with the motorcycle, yeah. and it's nice that we get to share that journey mm -hmm. with our readers and our YouTube viewers and all that kind of stuff, and then come back around, and then I get to sit in front of yeah. your YouTube viewers, and they get to know us a little bit better and and that's stuff great. like that. So, but I mean the. It's cool because on these types of motorcycles, it's a journey. And mm -hmm. I mean, like we were saying before, so many different people. I mean, I remember back in the late 90s, early 2000s when I was racing two strokes, you know, your bolt kit, like we were talking about bolt mm -hmm. kits and, and the amount of bolts you had and because <laughs> two strokes bolts fall out. Like that's just how it works. It still works with four strokes, but company like the spec bolt on, mm -hmm. on this owner of spec bolt, great guy is willing to give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. And, but for companies like that, that you can buy a complete bolt kit for this motorcycle and not have to go spend a million dollars on OEM bolts or anything yeah. like that. Like yeah. there's so much stuff available for him. That's just one of the things. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to a spec bolt guy because mm -hmm. uh, Mark said he's a great guy. Actually, when uh, we were building the engine, we were missing uh, two bolts on the engine and the spec bolt owner of the spec bolts, uh, 
he him and myself we met halfway i drove for one hour he drove for one hour i got the bolt from him and we came back to the shop and we finished the engine so if you guys are looking for the bolt kit he's a cool guy and uh just check it out yeah he like i was telling you he helped me build a kx 450 we called it the spec bolt kx 450 because yeah. he basically came to my house and, uh -huh. and helped me build it so you know but it, it's great you you get to build those relationships i know that um jay clark helps you out a lot with your yeah. builds but building those relationships and building those long-term friendships is these, it, that's just a byproduct of these builds. Exactly. So, you know, it, it's, is this bike a, you know, is this bike better than a brand new bike? No, no, not on performance, not on, on anything when it comes to actually working on the trail, but do you get more out of it because you build those relationships and right. you know everything about this motorcycle now. That's right. So that's right. like, do you get more out of it in the long run? Yeah, for sure. You definitely do. And this bike, you take it somewhere. I mean, I've, I had it in my truck a couple times going mm -hmm. places and, and, uh, stuff like that. And you stop and get gas and people are going, Oh man, that's such a cool motorcycle. Like, oh, oh, nice. yeah. I mean, <laughs> you see people on the side of the road pointing at it and, you uh -huh, know, uh -huh. stuff like that, where they'll do that with these types of builds, but you have a brand new four stroke in the back of your truck and somebody goes, Oh yeah. Hey, that, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. Like, but I mean, you have people pointing at it and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of going from there. And so, you know, it might, might happen that it, it ends up on our social media and it ends up on your social media and they go, mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I know that motorcycle. Yeah, so, you yeah, know, cool. it's just a cool thing to uh -huh. do. And like I said, I'm, I'm appreciative of, we do a lot of bikes now. We, this is our second one we've done with you. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to do more. We do a lot of bikes with Jay Clark and it's, it's just a, a fun thing because mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to, uh, to, to lie to your viewers. I don't want to lie to my viewers. We have fun. Like this is fun doing, this is a fun job to do. That's I know right. you're doing it as a secondary thing to your yeah. full-time job. Right. It's my full-time job. And yeah, there's stuff that we don't like doing about mm -hmm. it, but it's fun. Like yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this, this part of riding the bikes and building the bikes, uh, that's really fun. And exactly what you said about, you know, meeting people and building relationships and the entire process of bringing this bike back, mm -hmm. you know, and making it better than new, that, that's always the plan, right? But uh, meeting all these people and uh, having the relationships and just being in the industry and majority of these guys uh, are really cool guys mm -hmm. and they are in the industry because they love the industry. Yeah. It's not a business. Of course, I mean, everybody wants to wants to have put a, a food on, on the table, right? Yeah. But they are inside in the industry because of the heart. And uh, it's really fun to interact with those people, to build those relationships and just to be around those people. You know, it's always fun to be around the people that you have something in common that kind of brings you together. So it's definitely yeah, a no, fun I, thing. I've met some of the best friends in my life on motorcycles or mm -hmm. through the motorcycle industry. The motorcycle industry has given me so much throughout the years. I mean, I've I, the people that I work with, I genuinely enjoy working with. So, you know, and now my kids are getting old enough at, at six yeah. and 11 or seven and 11 years old. Like now they've got the bug. And so, you know, we That's take cool. this motor home behind us where, you know, <laughs> we're going to be taking it to Idaho this next weekend to, to nice. do some uh, NGPC racing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it, it's just a fun thing families that that play together stay together so yeah, it's definitely exactly. and you can extend that family building motorcycles and because i know that there's times where you've called somebody and go hey uh i stripped this bolt out or i don't know how to do this or i don't yeah. know how to do that i do it weekly mm -hmm. and you know i'll i'll call i'm i work closely with ron lawson as everybody knows and he lives a mile and a half away from me mm -hmm. and i'll call him every once in a while i'll be like uh, how do I do this? And, you <laughs> yeah. know, so it's definitely a, a cool thing. And, yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, working on motorcycles and spending time in the, the garage with, with your buddies or yeah. with your family. That's cool. It's not very much better. Yeah. I have people like that. I, uh, call Jay a lot. Uh -huh. And then Brad from Parapros. Uh -huh. Like he's a guru. He knows so much about the engines. Like any question I have about the engine, something like very specific, he had experience with that before, so oh. it's, it's really yeah, cool Brad, to have. Brad yeah. is crazy knowledgeable when it yeah. comes to, to all the engines. I mean, he, he rebuilt uh, my kid's 65, and I was asking him stuff as I was going along, and he was just kind of like, oh, yeah, no, this, 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 this. And, <laughs> yeah. and everybody sees Jay's, Jay's Instagram and, and mm -hmm. all the videos that he does, and Jay will probably forget more little tips on stuff mm -hmm. than I'll ever know. I mean, cause he's yeah. working on these types of projects. Right, right. That's what he does. Like, so, you know, it's a thing to where when it comes to writing a story, yeah, I could, I could write a story better, but yeah. when it, when it comes to putting foot pegs on to a KTM, mm -hmm. I'll 
I'll do it for you know an hour and go, man, that was hard. And Jay will yeah, pop in there and do it right. in, in ten minutes. And you're like, wait a minute here. So <laughs> he's always making fun of me that I do two builds a year and he does like maybe thirty. Yeah. Or so. <laughs> he was like, what happened to the bike you are working on? So yeah, it's uh, it takes a little longer to make us. Uh, I have other things going on, but definitely it's a it's a lot of fun to build these things. So you know when I wrote it first, so when I broke it in. I was shocked, to, I'll tell you honestly, how much power this thing has. Mm -hmm. Like I've ridden a 17, 18, 19 KTM 300 and the older ones, but this one hits the hardest mm -hmm. and it's the fastest uh, among all these bikes. I think maybe because it does not have the counterbalancer, mm -hmm. so there is a less weight and the hit is just harder and we got good uh, jetting with JD jetting, uh, keen stock carburetor and this thing just flies, it, it runs really well. How did you feel, uh, what do you think yeah, about the it, hit? it definitely is going to hit harder, like you said, the counterbalancer, it's going to vibrate more yeah. um, naturally, um, but yeah, it's an older two-stroke, mm -hmm. so it is going to hit harder. Most two-stroke guys like that yeah, hit, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Um, the fuel injected bikes don't have that hit anymore. It's kind mm -hmm. of a, a gradual moving right. up. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's definitely, yeah, if, if you're wanting that hit and that get over something really quickly, mm -hmm. yeah, this bike is going to be, a, and I don't want to say more violent, but it, it's going to, it's going to have that instant response. Yeah. And that instance, JD Jetting does a, a great job with, with their kits. You know, having a, a key and carb is, is definitely a, a bonus in, in yeah. that aspect of it. They can so, stuck on these bikes. So exactly. So know. it's these bikes weren't bad. Like yeah. they, they were really good. And the guys <laughs> that right. raced them at this time mm -hmm. did really well on them. So, you know, it's the, those guys were the guys that kind of helped build what we have now mm -hmm. with their testing and their development and, you know, kind of going from there. And this is something that a a uh i guess a pure two-stroke lover is gonna like mm -hmm. whereas maybe the new fuel injected 300s aren't what a pure two-stroke lover likes i mean yeah i think me. i think so too i think like if uh, if you grew up on two-stroke and you like you like that hit and you like everything what is cool about old school two-strokes and then you jump on these new tpi bikes uh they are so different and you might be missing uh the essentials <laughs> that, that, that thing that you love the most on a two-stroke that's also how i see it too yeah, no, and that's that's it exactly right. Like it's definitely, I, I we get a lot of that, and myself, like I said, myself included, I like the hit of a two stroke. Mm -hmm. Like I like a, the hit of a carbureted two stroke, and the actions of a carbureted two stroke. Mm -hmm. I I mean naturally, I don't mind riding the new fuel injected yeah. bikes because they do have their you know that it's smoother to ride. They're they're better on gas, like all that yeah. kind of stuff. They're, they're easy. You can pour gas straight into them and they're, mm -hmm. you know, oil injected and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, with this motorcycle too, there is those little creature comforts of, you know, you hardly ever have to kick a new two stroke. Like they're, they're so efficient that it's a thing to where, I mean, a lot of them have just gotten rid of the Kickstarter. Yeah. So, you know, you, you hit the starter button and it goes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it makes us lazy. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. definitely makes us lazy, but hey, it's uh you're you're also paying a pretty penny for them. I mean, right. when those bikes start at eleven, twelve thousand dollars. That's quite a bit. Yeah, you look at it and you go, shoot, I, I mean I don't know how much money you have into it. Yeah, we got sponsors and we got a bunch of people on these builds, mm -hmm. but I mean even that, like you you look at we we've done other builds to where you like 125s are, are a perfect example, like a YZ125. Mm -hmm. You could buy an older YZ125 and just pimp it out. We, we built stuff with like Faster USA. Mm -hmm. um, they built a 125 and, and uh, we just completely pimped it out, did in an insane engine on it and all kinds of stuff. You're still under the price of what a brand new stock one would have been. Okay. And you're looking at it and you're going, oh, okay, yeah, you're getting older technology. Yeah. But those bikes haven't changed very much. Right. That's so... Th you know, 2022 is different, but then yeah, all the exactly. way up to 2021, then yeah, the, very the last similar, right? major major update to the YZ125 was I I believe 2006 with a, a different fork, and, and then frame. in yeah, and then in uh, like I think 2000 late 2015 or 14 something like that they did an update to them like mm -hmm. uh, styling wise, but essentially oh, yeah. until they just released right. the ones that they just released 
there hasn't been a, a major change in them. So did you write twenty two yet? No, no, Not no. no. We, we've seen them okay. um, naturally, and they're they're on the Dirt Bike Magazine's website and stuff like that. But we haven't actually seen them. Like yeah. I mean, we've seen pictures of them. We have the specs on them and all that kind of stuff. And everything they did looks awesome. Yeah. Like I mean, you you can't fault a mm. company for not changing their their program on stuff because sometimes when companies change stuff it doesn't it, work out yeah, yeah it makes it worse so <laughs> you know right. yamaha is one of the companies that you know the testing department over there with uh with uh Tukarski and um steve butler butler's over there and preston mm -hmm. all those guys you have to prove to them that something's better and it, it's great it's great mm -hmm. that they you know even our our media guy now mike ulrich was part of the testing department before. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's there, you have to prove to them that, that something's better. And it's an okay. old school way of thinking. And it, it's not like, oh, we're gonna make something different just because we're gonna make it different. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's definitely a, a cool thing. Um, and in this day and age, when when bikes change every three or four years, yeah. it's- Especially they, the European bike. Yeah, and they have a different, you know, that, and even the European bikes, they're, you know, specifically KTM, Gas Gas and Husky, when they're changing, they're making them better. I mean, they're, we've gone over and, and saw their research and they've dealt with uh, aluminum frames and all kinds of stuff. And it, it's it's cool to see that they're doing that stuff. And then they come back to mm -hmm. what they, and it's the same thing of, hey, no, it's, it's not better. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's definitely going back to, to the builds. It's, it's cool that there's so much stuff available. For cool. Them. All right, Mark. Well, that was a great interview. Thanks a lot. I got a lot of info from you. It's, it's really easy to get info from him. Just, just give one question and it's coming out. It's flowing. So <laughs> that's good. Sometimes I talk to people and I have to think what to ask them because like uh, they just answer the question and that's it, you know. Yeah, so. well, and it, it's easier on my <laughs> side. Usually I'm just the one that's going, okay, this is what we thought about the motorcycle. Yeah. And this is like the interview process is a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, because then you can kind of talk and I mean, we went from talking about this motorcycle to talking about friends to talking about family right. to talking about a YZ125. There like you go. so, you know, it, it's kind of kind of cool that you can do it this way. I mean, I don't know if the 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 subscribers like it better, yeah. but you know, <laughs> I, I we when we did our first one, it was like, okay, you know, yeah. what are we gonna say and how do we say it? And and it's just kind of one of those things to where yeah, it's standing in front of a camera with a guy that's just like you who there likes you motorcycles yeah. and wants to build them and, and doing stuff. The only difference that we have is I do it as my job yeah. and you do it for fun. And maybe someday you might be doing it as a job. If, if that, maybe, if that, who knows? Yeah, if that's what you, <laughs> you want to do. And, is, there, uh, is there opening in Dirt by <laughs> Megas? <laughs> You, yeah, need, you need a guy with an accent, yeah, I'm you, in. You never know, you never know. So that's, it's definitely, that's the, you know, the changing ways of the world and, mm -hmm. and how we, we get our media and how we, we do stuff. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, it's great to be able to, I'm glad we took this and, and Jay introduced us and stuff like that. And I'm glad we, okay, yeah, hey, let's try this and let's see mm -hmm. how, it, how it goes because it is, it's a fun thing. Like we've, we've only built two yeah. and now we're looking at it going, well, okay, well, what are we going to build next? Or what yeah. are we going to do, you know, this next year and, and kind of go from there? Hey, uh, if you feel like putting it on the cover, I'm fine. <laughs> well, and, that, and that's, <laughs> that's not far-fetched either. Like it, it's one of those things to where you look at it and, and we've, we've gone back to where we've put in motocross action is our sister publication. Mm -hmm. They've put like 30 year old KX 500s on the cover because that's what the reader wants. That's yeah. what the reader wants to hear about. This is a cool bike. That's what the reader wants to hear about. Like, and if it's a thing to where there is that, mm -hmm. you know, that, that pull or that draw, like, you know, it, it, it is one of those things to where that we're not, I'm not opposed to it. Like, I mean, Jay's got a bunch of his dual sports on the covers of our, our magazines lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we even, he built a, uh, a KTM 200. And they stopped okay. making KTM 200s a long, long time, time ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. And he came up and, and we built one and it made it on the cover. So cool. it's, you joke around about it, but it's, <laughs> it's not that far fetched. It's, it's a thing to where we bring it to them and go, Hey, this is, this is, you know, maybe this is what we got on social media or uh -huh. this is what we got. This is what people want to hear about. And I mean, especially if there's, if, if your guys out there are, are subscribing to the magazine, they can, they can write in, they can comment on our, our posts. Like, so it is definitely something to where, cool. yeah, getting one of these on the cover it, as funny as, as, as it might seem, yeah, this might have a better shot than 
a 2020 Honda or, mm-hmm. uh, or, or a not 2020, but a, a 2022 bike. Mm-hmm. You never know it. It's sounds all good. About, to, sounds good yeah, to me. Definitely. <laughs> it's all about supply and demand. And we're, mm-hmm. we're looking at your subscribers. We're looking at our subscribers. We're looking at our uh, subscribers to the, the printed magazine. We're one of the only printed magazines that, mm-hmm. that's still out there. So, you know, I, I appreciate our, subscribers to the printed magazine and we have digital magazine and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it, but we are listening to, we're listening to you guys. I mean, he listens to you guys yeah. with what he want, what you want to hear. So, you know, be, let your voice be heard. Yeah. If you guys want this to see this bike uh, on the cover, <laughs> Hey, comment below, let them know. Okay. And uh, if you are, uh, let us know if you are a subscriber to the Dirtbag magazine, uh, this is, I checked every single issue. It's a, uh, it's a lot of cool stuff there. It's a lot of good information and uh, bikes like this. So I feel really, you know, like linked in. Uh, so let us know if you are one of the Dirtbag Magazine fans too. All right, Mark. Uh, thanks again. It was it was a great experience as as before. We did the uh, YZ250 before. Now we we have this one. So thanks a lot for uh, allowing me to be part of uh, your magazine in this way. And I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we do. Uh, way more in the future yeah now we'll have to go out to dinner and find out what we're going to do next yeah, <laughs> so thanks a lot i appreciate it thank you mark i appreciate it <laughs>